Hello everyone and welcome back to Lake the Game Where we deliver mail and explore and maybe date in the future, but we will see Looks like we got a bunch of letters just around the corner, so Let's just control those trusty vehicles Good morning, P.O. It's time for a P.O. Positive or that P. Okay, folks, let's see what it is today The floor is yours, Angie Good morning, Jack. I've got a pet peeve do you know? Videos that have not been rewinded. I mean, really? Be kind and rewind. Thanks. Duly noted, Angie. And now on to today's weather. We can enjoy the sun in the morning, but the clouds will cover it more. Let's just listen to radio. Enough talking. Here are some tunes. Listen to radio, and the radio stops. Okay, so first we got a package over here for the VS uh, Betamax lady. Whose name I already forgotten because we only met her like once, so. What on earth did these folks order? None of your business. Oh, hello again. Ah, More Angie. Mail for me? And the tape you gave me. Oh, wow. Oh, that was the one you just already? called. A drifter in a sleepy town, an affair, and a plot to kill a husband? There's a lot more to this movie than I expected. It's a classic, and probably my favorite noir. They did a remake a couple years back, but it's, well, it's not as good. You can't beat Lana Turner's smoldering intensity. Yeah, she's great in it. I'm so glad you liked it. Most of the people here don't really appreciate the art of classic cinema. They just want to see Police Academy again. Hey, look, I mean... Police Academy is a great movie. To be fair. I mean, at least I think so. I enjoyed the movie. I loved all the Police Academies. Especially, I think his name was... Although it's been a while since I saw it. So like my, my memory is like... I have a terrible memory. But I loved... I think his name was Jones. That's like all the sounds. And that man is so talented. There's a video about him doing like... I forgot what song it is. Once again, my terrible memory. But he like... He imitates like... A distorted guitar sound, and it's freaking incredible. <laughs> I'm afraid you're right. Pretty lonely being the only movie buff around. Hmm. You seem to enjoy being the expert, though. Are you saying I feel superior to these rubes? Because <laughs> I guess I do a little. You know. It's good to see you. Any particular reason? Because I have a sneaky little plan. Talk to me. Ooh, we whisper now? Oh, we're whispering now? I want you to meet me, say, at, at five today. <laughs> Gay? Look, I mean... What? Like a date? <laughs> well, more like a business proposal. Uh-huh. You in? I mean... Alright. I'm in. I think it seems right. cool, to be honest. I'll see you this afternoon. Wait, where are we meeting up? Your place. It's 102 New Street, right? <laughs> Inviting yourself over. That's quite impertinent. Well, hey, do you want to know my sneaky little plan or not? Yes. Oh, well, it's settled then. See you at five, partner. Okay. We got ourselves a little thing going now, haven't we? Now, you know, I do appreciate, like, you know, if you can be gay, then why not? It's a little boring to, like, just be like, you know, stick to, like, being with a day one gender. Little pet peeve, like, I would just like to be able to date just everybody in one, like, one safe if I could. Like, it's like, say, started, like, I could date everyone in one safe if I really wanted to. Instead of, like, having to, like, make, you know, make the other agenda character to play the whole game over. Gay yeah, rights, everybody. It's important. Very much important. At least that's what I think. You know? Okay, let's see, um... Well, actually, let's check our things, let's see. Uh... Hmm. 
Yeah, I really feel like Tris is going to be like, you have to like eat a review, whatever, or we continue our little plan. Which naturally, we're, we're going to continue our plan. It's what we do. Uh, well, what we should do as well, though, so let's see. Um, I'll pack our the things here. I'll go here, here, probably here, and then go back to over here. I think that's the plan to go. Which you might be wondering, like, why would you, like, do the... Save the last one for last. Well, you see, I would like to, if I can, save myself the time, like, you know. I'm gonna go past that place anyway, so... It's probably when I deliver the mails, like, we're gonna get head home and everything. But I've noticed once you deliver the mail and then bring your post truck back, you're like, you're probably just like, end your day. And we don't want to end our day. You're like, no, not before we say so. Is that a basketball? Just remind me, I need, I really want to watch Space Dam 2 at some point, which maybe I will want to these days. Who knows, maybe I'll even do it tonight. Who knows? Can we play b-ball? Aw. Couple of guy playing wood. I've got a story all about how my life got flipped upside down. I like take two minutes and sit right there. Let me tell you how to tell my story on ballet. Boom. Ba -da 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 -da. Seven or eight. Play shoes and beat ball. I don't remember. How God damn, I don't remember a song. Was, like, who has ever seen, like, you know, The Fresh Prince of Bel Air? Honestly, it's been one of my favorite show shows back then. I haven't watched it in, like, forever. A sound right. And a couple of guys threw up to no good. I started making trouble in my neighborhood. I got a one little fun and my mom got scared. Tell me why you move your auntie and uncle in Bella. We just were like how the intro of like the the show is like uh, how am I trying how am I trying to explain this? I think it's like shows the mom look different than actually looks later on in the show. Nope. No answer. There well, you go. Well, just leave your package in. Though I could feel like I could just leave it in there, you know? That's what I would do if I were to be the mail office right now, but I'm not, so I'll have. Well, technically, I mean, the game I am. But, you know. God, this music is like so unrelaxable. But, yeah, you know, we're at the diner. We might see, we might see K again. Let's see how it went after last thing, because, like, just remember from the first look of this game, uh, we ran into a little bit of a... A little something that, like, the kitchen on fire or whatever. So we're gonna see her... Oh, wait, I... Where's the package? Yeah, that's me right now. I already, like, the moment is like, wait... Even the character acknowledged it. Do you think is our last package, actually? Cool, so the rest is just gonna, like, get out of the truck, deliver mail, and do our thing. Hello, ma'am. Got you a package. Hi, oh, Maureen. Bakash. Hi, hon. How are you doing this fun day? Got myself a date. Yeah, we should ask how the kitchen is. I'm fine, but how are you? You know, with the kitchen exploding? Oh, that? Huh. Nothing a fresh lick of paint and a mop couldn't fix. Don't That's mean good. To scare you. <laughs> Let's pick up where we left off, shall we? And one piece of blueberry pie. Ashley, one blueberry pie. Meredith Wise, back in Providence Oaks. How's life? No choice, you, darling. It's all right, actually. You don't mind. I delivered a package to Kay at her house earlier. Yeah, she you told mean yesterday? me. How did that go for you? Uh. I think I put my foot in it, to tell you the truth. I can imagine it can be a lot to take in for the both of you, especially after Also, I could be as I might my back rumbling blue again. again. I missed the color. There are some things that never change, right? True. This feels like I'm... I'm digging, but let's find out. Well, this diner sure did. Glad you noticed. Hmm. Even the name changed. Yeah, I decided it was time for a change. Didn't feel the same after my stand died. World keeps turning. Yeah. Gotta keep moving along with it, right? Oh my gosh, Maureen, stand died? Yeah, I figured. I'm so sorry. I, I had no idea. Thank you, darling. But 
it's really okay. It's been <laughs> ten years already. Damn. Ten and a half, almost. Oh, boy, did I love that man. Oh, we've been married for so long. It hit me like a brick. But yeah, that's understandable. While, I decided that sadness wasn't the only emotion I was allowed to have. That's not what Stan would have wanted either. <sighs> that's... That's really inspiring. Thank you, hon. I do appreciate that. Anyway, you have to get back up. So I did. For me, but also for Kay. <sighs> she took her uncle's death pretty hard. Hmm. I yeah. wish I'd known. <sighs> Sorry for dumping all that on you like that, darling. Gosh, <laughs> look at your face. I'm a bit surprised you didn't know. Didn't your parents tell you about it? Or Kay? Uh... I'm not sure. Ah, uh, it's okay, hon. I honestly don't give a hoot about any blame game. That's good, at least. To live, but Kay's been through a lot. Uh, nursed her uncle through his illness, helping me out. Sounds like Kay's been a trooper. Again, shook her up a little, was all. She must have missed you during those days. I can imagine. Uh, it was good to see her again. Yeah, I, I feel like you missed your best. Would miss your best friend. It sounds like you know what to do. Listen, Meredith. Time marches on, and eventually, yeah, you realize it's marching across your face. Life's too short. That's exactly why I decided this place could do with a repurpose after Stan passed. Fresh start. It's been Moe's Diner ever since. And believe it or not, mm. business is better than ever. That's great to hear, Maureen. Congratulations. Why, thank you kindly. <laughs> thank listen, you kindly, sir. You check in with me and Kay again soon, you hear? Don't forget about what's important in life. <laughs> Hand on my heart, I will return as soon as I have a delivery. Or huh? I'll hold you to that. <laughs> you bet. Bye, Maureen. I like anyone is so like about her forgetting something, you know? Like, they went through a lot of things, apparently. Talk about like, going through a lot of things. We are about to go pick up a cat. So I'm going to head to my truck. And I will see you there momentarily. Okay, so I don't quite remember what his name was. Like, Mr. Mackey? And I don't mean Mr. Mackey from, like, South Park. Like, oh, truck's about him, guy. Maybe, like, the guy will be like, you know, cupcakes are bad, okay? Because, like, don't give a cat cupcakes. Because that's something that might have happened, which sounds disturbing. Here we are. He seems to have the cat on his hand. Hi there, the cat Mr. Mackey. Fish. How's Mortimer? Oh, good day, Meredith. Mort's fine, as I expected. It was just a little indigestion. A good night's rest and a bit of lake trout in the morning has done the little critter a world of good. Excellent. Miss Jenkins will be pleased. Is he going to keep it? Let me take him off your hands. All right. Bye, Mort. Anything else, Miss Weiss? Enjoying yourself so far? Yeah. I'm having fun. Yes. Well, that's good. I'm guessing I'll see you around a lot more, Miss Weiss. For sure, Mr. Mackey. A little bit. Have a nice For a little day. while. Are we going to carry it? Okay. Gonna say, are we gonna carry the cat in our arms? Because honestly, I would be okay with that. Sorry, uh, you know, transported a cat once. Like when I had to pick up my cat from a place. Because we were, well, lacking one of these cat carrier things. But you know, times be is times be. We're just gonna pop the cat in the back and, you know, go deliver some mail. But yeah, like I said, I gotta admit, this game has. Had a pretty beautiful view. Like, I really like the look of nature. Also, look, guys. It's the intro screen. <laughs> At least that's where the intro screen is based. Which is kind of cool. Anyway, we are going to be heading to, um... Cat Lady, because I kind of forgot what her name was. So I'm very sorry that's being rude, because I honestly, I don't remember. But she's, like, on our way there. So we're just going to go ahead and deliver the cat back actually, we don't really know what it was besides indigestion. Oh, like... Already waiting outside for me, so... 
Hello, ma'am. We got your cat. God, that'd be like my dream thing to have. Like, have stuff like that, but like, either dogs or like cats. Or both. I, uh, would not be. I don't know. I would not be picky. Look who's back. Mortimer! Oh, look at you! You're good as new! Meow! Meow! Uh, let's see. I'll, I'll say what he said. Yeah, Mr. Mackey did say not to feed him cupcakes. Hmm. I suppose he's right. It's, it's just that he likes them so much. Don't you, Mortimer? Anyway, thank you so much, Meredith. My pleasure. See you, Miss Jenkins. Call me Mildred, dear. Say goodbye to Meredith, Mortimer. That's like, I don't like, it depends like what piece of the cupcake, cause like, we've always given like, say we feel like, if we had like a cookie or something that like, didn't have like heavy sugar in it or anything like, I don't know, something that could be like relatively okay to give. We give him like a tiny piece. We don't give him an entire thing, of course. Like, oh, here you go. We have cookie here. You two have the exact same cookie, the entire of it. No. We took like a tiny little piece, but otherwise we usually just like give our cats, like, you know, snacks that we have. Here's your mail. Here's your mail indeed. Okay, let's see. We have... Uh, we have the man in the woods left, so... We're actually gonna go ahead over there and head into the woods. I thought that'd be a pretty good spot to drive, right? Also, I've been thinking between corners, like, if everything goes to plan, I have already added to these, before I uh, started recording this episode, I added to the second episode. So, I do think that I should be able to upload every single part of this into the weekend, so... You should see this video on Sunday, the second part on Saturday, and of course, the first look on a Friday. Hello? What are you doing? Are you like, look... Look, you're looking for treasure? Well, you look familiar. Hi there. Sorry, pardon? Hi there. Oh, hello. Are you like finding anything? Any luck finding something? Yeah, I've, I've found a couple of things. A uh, nail, penny, a soda can, empty soda can. Hmm. Ooh, a penny. <laughs> Ooh, a penny. Are you like from a card collector? Uh, the penny I found is from 1983, so that's worth about one penny. Hmm. You know, if you look positive, then you know. Well, it all adds up in the end. Oh yes, metal detecting is a surefire way to become a millionaire. Whoops. True. Did I just reveal the world's best kept secret? Yeah, that's our. <laughs> no worries. It's safe with me. <laughs> Thank you. I'm going to get back to it now. I need to be our MDC later. Oh, you're... You're, <laughs> you're MDC? A metal detecting club. We compare finds, we discuss the hobby. Sometimes our mm -hmm. club president gives a talk on things like... Buttons. Buttons. That does sound interesting, though. Uh... Hmm. Could be good. Yeah. Yeah. Well, nice meeting you. It was nice to meet you too. Good luck. That's interesting, fella. That's a kind of interesting, fella. I don't know. Like, I, I kind of want to like this explore more like that and like try to find more people like that. Could be interesting. Who knows? Okay, with that though, we have arrived at our next wanted location. I'm just gonna see where I can take a little sneak escape through the, to the woods. It looks like I can. Rarely, but I can. Was it worth it? Probably not. Oh. Easy now. There we go. Have we met you before? Because I don't remember. Mr. Lumberjack, There's huh? a face I remember. Huh. Hi, Robert. Hey there. More paperwork with my name on it? Sure do. Take a look for yourself. Thanks. And he's got a lot of money from someone. Oh, it gets worse every day. Oh. 
Sorry to hear that. Can you believe it? I've been taking care of this lake sign for years. And now they're gonna bulldoze it? No! Let this man be a lumberjack. Oh, that's a shame. I'd hate to see the place I grew up ruined by an apartment building. What? Exactly. You grew up here? Yes, my father was the mailman before me. Mr. Weiss. Ah, so you're the prodigy he's always talking <laughs> the about. The prodigy? Wow. <laughs> Wouldn't surprise me. But tell me about that paperwork. They say you can file an official objection, but I'm not a great match with bureaucracy. I'd I rather you could do it. And cut down town hall. Oh, now, buddy. Oh, now. Whoa, whoa, whoa. Easy now. <laughs> Just kidding. It's a nice thought, though. Well? What a nice thought. I'm going to pick up the chainsaw and cut a town hall in half. It's just a town hall of people, because... And I've doing people too, I... I'm out. Maybe I can help out. I do seem I'm like an accountant. I'm paper than chainsaws. Would you? Awesome. I'll think about it. Have a great day. I'll freaking help him. Bye, Robert. Hey, wait up. I'm done thinking about it. I was fast. Maybe you'd want to go through all the files together? When? Our afternoon at Moe's. Food and sure. drinks on me. <laughs> that didn't take you long. Yeah, sorry. I, I blurted that out. But that is. It's still a good we're help, plan, though. We're going to help set this man's thing. Okay. Sure. Tomorrow afternoon at Moe's. Great. I'll make sure to bring all the files and I'll see you there. I'm sure like Maureen and Kay, if she's working at that time, would be, uh, you know, I'm sure they'll be happy to see me, hopefully. So I'm not quite sure what I'm supposed to do with Angie, but it said to me that our place, so I figure I'd go try our actual house. The hell did I hit? I guess there's like an invisible object there, so. Because like, I don't want to quite risk going to deliver the mail and then like, you know, mess things up. So we're just gonna go to the house and hopefully they'll do. Which apparently our house is right over here. At least it's over here or... It looks to be over here, so... And if there's nothing here, then like, we'll just try and see what happens. Uh, what, is, what was it? It says like, discuss, discuss Angie's plan at mom and dad's place. Which means definitely this. So, I guess I'm just supposed to, to finish up the mail. I think that makes sense. Oh yeah, we'll just do that, and hopefully, it's not gonna mess things up. I'm just gonna take a quick peek whether she's actually at the store or not. Cause I like I'd be sad if I miss out on that specific event. Cause that's the thing that like we don't really see have like a clock either. So like. Time doesn't seem to pass unless, well, you're actually finishing your mail. Maybe something I can do after I get, like, I deliver the mail itself, and then before I go to the office, then I can go to the home place. There is someone there. Wait, sir, I'd like to talk to you. We can. No, don't go in the house. Wait, sir, I'm not that fast. I'm real slow. Stop! Can't even talk to this person. It's just a random person who's like coming by, like, hey, sup. Don't know if we're stupid now. But yeah, like, I don't know. This game is very neatly made. There's not a lot of soundtracks, which does kind of suck, I will say. But all. Anyway, let's uh, get back to the point of what we were doing and let's actually deliver the mail. And then we're gonna see what's gonna happen. Oh, supposed to be the other side? Because I think it might be. Yeah, I do. I'm calling it a day. Okay, so now the question is. What happens if I go back to our own place? Let's find out, I guess. 
Okay, just around the corner is where our house is. Let's hopefully... Think that will do something. Because I don't think it will, but it's best to try, you know? Ow. Doesn't look like she's here. So we just might have to actually... Yeah, I think we just have to deliver the mail and hope for the best. That's, that's really all we can do now. Kind of wish I was more clear on that, to be honest, but oh well. Okay, well, we're here. It's time to put down the truck and hope for the best. Okay, be nice. And work day. Okay. So No, Angie Eastman, you can't really create a woman with a computer. What movie is that? It's called Weird Science. You really haven't heard of it? It was a pretty big hit. I figured you with your computer background. All right, I'll add it to the huge mental list I've been compiling ever since we started talking. So that's Weird Science, Life of Python, <laughs> <laughs> Brian. Uh -oh. Brian. Monty Python's Life of Brian. Right. <laughs> I also enjoyed that you know, movie. It was fun. You don't really look the part of a computer nerd either. I'll take that as a compliment. Thanks. Well, I do kind of have a thing for nerds. But I'm also a sucker oh. for someone in uniform. So I guess you tick multiple boxes. <laughs> So, okay. Any particular reason you're not at the nerd factory anymore? Let's just say I needed a change of scenery. Okay, well, I totally get wanting something different anyway. I used to live in Los Angeles. Oh, really? Okay. Then, yeah. Respectable. Robin and Soaks is pretty different. Well, it's probably a lot cheaper. <laughs> sure is. It's quieter, for one thing. Slower for another. Uh, yeah. Yeah. Slow Those life is nice sometimes. I like best about it. Me too, I think. It took some getting used to. So tell me about this plan of yours. Is the suitcase part of it? Oh, right. It's simple. I want you to distribute movies this editor, I all want you. over Providence Oaks. You mean for free? Yeah. You know the town, you're starting to know the people. Not all of them have VCRs yet, but that's why God invented movie boxes. And by God, I mean electronics companies. Look, it's a VCR in a box, and it's portable too, so you can take it to anyone. Huh. Wow, this is the future of entertainment. I've made a list nah, of potential customers we'll be DVDs customers and, stuff and movies I think they'll like. All you have to do is just deliver the movie box with a movie of their choice. Then you go and pick it back up once they've watched it. Huh. I don't know if I'm even allowed to do that. I mean, I'd be using the truck, which is postal service property. Um, you do know Frank is your boss, right? He's not exactly a stickler for the rules. Plus, it's only two to start. These are for Lori. You know her, right? Oh, yeah. Yes, I've met her She's during nice my too. rounds before. Yes, good. I have these two for her. The Love Bug and A Nightmare on Elm Street. This one is about murders in a bathtub, right? Well, not exactly. You'll just have to True. watch it. True. Some things it's happen in a bathtub, a though. Chance. I think she'll love it. After Lori gives back the box, I have a couple movies planned for Burt Mackey. They are Jaws and The Dirty Dozen. <laughs> and that's it for now. If you're in, that is. So, you in? No, yeah, why not? All right. These addresses seem to be on my route anyway. I'm in. I... All right. Thanks a bunch, babe. Now, do you have any more of this great coffee? Actually, I really need to head back. Oh, what's the rush? I left the store unattended. Better get back. She got the gay. Uh, go. Also, like she said, just root. What do you guys say? Do you say root or route? Because I personally use route. 
Uh, let's see. Oh, just have another cup of coffee. I'd love to, but I really can't. You sure? Thursday's usually one of the busiest days. Sorry, but I'll see you soon, okay? Uh, okay. She's just like gone. Bye, babe. Also, I could, why is she just calling us bye, babe? Why, why is she just calling us babe? You know, that's... I would say it's weird, but... Oh, wait. Did I not do the audit? Hello? Hey, Meredith. Oh, it's Dad. Hey, Dad! How's life? I heard something about <laughs> poker, fishing, and margaritas. <laughs> that's Talk party, man. Mom, huh? But yeah, can't complain. How about you? Do you like my job? I'm starting to love it. Being on the road, the freedom, Understandable. the people. That's great to hear. Frank's quite the character, huh? Uh, Frank's quite the character indeed. Is he married? Frank married? Yes, to baseball. He places a bet every now and then. Nothing too serious. Uh, let's see. And what about Mildred Jenkins? Mildred likes to talk a lot. She's married to her cats. I postponed delivering her mail until she and her cats can't ambush me. Speaking of ambushes, your mom is telling me to hurry up. We're going to a movie. Okay, Dad. Man, don't that's... keep her waiting. That sounds what fun, movie? though. Uh, stand by me. About four Oregon boys in the 50s. Right up my alley. Is sounds it? good. I mean... Say hi to Mom for me. Will do. Bye, Meredith. Bye, Dad. <laughs> okay, so let's see. Eh, you know, we can't work on this thing. Gotta, you know, make everyone happy. All right, here we go. All right, with that, though, I think... We're gonna end the episode here. So far, also it's raining right now apparently, so we're gonna have our first rainy day in the next episode. It seems like we can pop about an episode per day in. Cause like, the day is relatively long when you do all the things, but yeah. Uh, but that, as always, thank you guys so very much for watching. If you enjoyed the video, give me a thumbs up. If you disliked it, give me a thumbs down. It's European and European matters. And yeah, subscribe and hit the notification bell if you want to see more of this. Or join the Discord for a chance of extra notifications if you so choose. Otherwise, you can also get notifications there for live streams and more. And like when other videos get uploaded if you're interested in those. And yeah. Uh, I'm gonna head the heck out of here. Thank you guys again so much for watching. And what can I say? Looking forward to seeing you to the next part. And I'll see you guys next time. Bye-bye.